What's happening, everybody? It's your boy, Rob the Realtor, your local real estate expert. Look, I know what you guys are thinking, Rob, what's going on? You're looking a little rough today. This isn't by accident, this is on purpose. That's because today I'm gonna to be introducing you guys to um, a gentleman, he's a local businessman, he's had a substantial impact on the barbering industry here in Denver, Colorado. I'm super excited to introduce you to him. He's also done some pretty cool stuff too in the community. Let's go on over, I'll give you, I'll introduce him to you. Everybody, uh, let me introduce to you guys uh, AJ Gallegos. Uh, this is his barber shop here. Um, go ahead and uh, tell him what's up, AJ. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Uh, my name is AJ Gallegos, owner of AJ's All American Barber Shop. Uh, we've been in business now for March will be six years for us. A uh, year in this location, um, and we are uh, we're all about serving the community. Awesome, man. Awesome, awesome. So I know you've been barbering for a while. Tell me, uh, tell me, kind of how you got into into the barbering game. When did it all start? Wow, for you? it all started for me. Um, my mom has been a, a barber for man almost thirty years now. Okay. And uh, you know, I uh, I spent a lot of years just uh, sweeping her floors wow. as a young kid, and as I got into high school and and uh, played a lot of football in high school, I had an opportunity to to either play football or. Uh, Continue my education in something else. So, uh, well, here I am. I chose barbering. I've been barbering professionally now for 12 years. Um, really, really have a very strong relationship with the barbering community here, here in Denver, as you know. Um, I'm also a teacher full time. I actually teach barbering full time at Emily Griffiths Technical College. So, oh wow! Nice. Yeah. Nice. So, cool. Yeah, as I had mentioned, you're uh, you're pretty active in the community too. Um, I mean, aside from from the hair industry, um, you do some some local coaching as well. You work with the with the youth as well. Talk a little Absolutely. bit about that for me. Yeah. Um, so, I uh, actually been coaching now for five years. I had the had the pleasure to coach some awesome kids in this North Denver community. Uh -huh. um, I manage the Denver Pal Hawks. That's the uh, Police Activities League Hawks. Uh -huh. Um, you know, we, many of you guys have heard um, of our organization. We've been there since probably the 70s, but uh, I've had a good opportunity to coach a lot of great kids these past few years. Um, my son, of course, he uh, I coach now his nine-year-old team, but I've been part of the organization for uh, for about five years. I coach football and uh, baseball. Had an awesome opportunity. Uh, coming from this neighborhood, sometimes you know, the, the kids don't uh, don't have the same opportunities as other other programs in other neighborhoods. So, a lot of our kids are you know come from single father or single mother homes. Right. Uh, you know, just less opportunity kids, and it's been an honor and a pleasure to coach these kids and, and be an influence on their life and you know help them motivate help motivate them and you know just let them know that. They can accomplish anything they want in life with, with hard work and dedication. Actually, our motto for the Denver Pal Hawks is work uh, before games, before practices, after games, after practices. You know, that's our chant. We're always chanting work because without hard work, you know, you're not really going to achieve anything in life. Absolutely. Whether it comes from school, you know, uh, your career, at home, we're constantly working to succeed. So that's that's something that we believe in. And, uh, you know, that translates to everything we do, including this barbershop. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, so let's get kind of back into into the barbering. And um, sure. I know you've been doing it for a while. Um, and from what I understand, you've been pretty active with uh, these barbering battles and done stuff like that. Um, you, uh, The rumor is you may or may not have a couple trophies there in the back room uh, for, for barbering. Talk to me a little bit about that. Yeah. Uh, well, I started competing in barber battles. Uh, probably about six years ago. Uh -huh. You know, it's always just been for fun for me to get out there and really just create relationships with other barbers in the industry and in the community. Um, I've had a lot of fun doing them. Um, yeah, I had a little bit of success doing them the past few years. Uh, you know, they've been a lot of fun. Uh, really, just mainly just about getting out there and, uh, and just, just being in the community, uh, being with fellow barbers and Many of you guys have seen the uh, reemergence of barbering. I think social media has a, a, a ton to do with that, but barbering is a very, very um, uh, popular career path nowadays. So, you know, doing these little events, barber battles, uh, 
hair shows and whatnot, really kind of just bring the community together. And not only the barber community, just the community in general. Sure. And uh, kind of showcase what we do for a living. And, you know, it's been, it's been a lot of fun doing these events. So you got to check them out if you get a chance. It's really a lot of fun. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, that's a great transition. Um, actually, what you were talking about with barbering, I feel like um, it's gone a lot more mainstream, but I feel like you've been doing it for so long that you were doing it before uh, before it kind of hit mainstream. Um, so tell me a little bit about AJ's Barbershop and the culture here. What right. makes you guys different than right. other, uh, other local <clears throat> barbershops? Um, yeah, it's funny you say that. There is, you know, there's... I mean, there's several different types of, of barbers and barbershops. Um, our culture here at AJ's All-American Barbershop is really just community um, and being, you know, being that, that meeting place where, where customers can come, get a great haircut, but not only a great haircut, you're gonna get a great experience here. Right. Um, you know, we don't fake anything here. This is real deal haircutting from professional licensed barbers. All of the barbers here that I hire, um, other than two, are my former students, so I've been able to apprentice them for the last year or whatnot, and uh, you know, kind of just shape them into a barber, introduce them to our, our culture and the way we cut hair here. Right. Um, what's great is everybody has their own style, uh, but you know, I, I share my knowledge with with these young barbers, and you know, they're able to take a little bit of what I can teach them and kind of create their own style, and uh, it's been really successful for them. And you know, we have a uh, we have a lot of great things planned in the future, and we're just gonna keep growing here in North Denver. And uh, yeah, that's that's our culture, you know, just getting a, a good haircut and a good vibe, getting ready for your week. We take a lot of pride. We also take a lot of pride in uh, what we have here. It's called a father and son special, and it's listed on my price menu. Uh -huh. But we wanna get more dads involved with their kids, you know. Um, back in 30, 40 years ago, even a little sooner than that, um, fathers took pride in taking their kids to the barbershop every Saturday. You don't see that a lot of days. You see a lot of a lot of times moms are taking, you know, their kids to get haircuts. You know, at sports clips. Great. Those places are great. Don't get me wrong, but we wanted to get that nostalgic, you know, atmosphere back into the barbershop where you know, bring your son to get a haircut every Saturday, create those memories and create that bond with your son. And those are things that he'll remember the rest of his life. You know? Sure, sure, absolutely. We have kids that we, we cut when they were, you know, newborns for six months, 12 months old. And now these kids are getting, you know, into middle school and high school. So it's really been a really been an awesome thing to see these dads really, you know, bringing their sons to get haircuts every every week and, and, and watch them grow, you know, with the community and, and with barbering. It's really awesome. Yeah. Awesome, man, awesome. All right, guys, you heard it. He's a, he's a teacher. He's a barber, he's a coach. Uh, th th this man, AJ here, he's doing some awesome stuff here in the community. Um, here with, with Elevate Ave, real estate group, I mean, our motto is elevating expectations. I'll tell you what, if you wanna treat yourself, you wanna come in, get an awesome experience, get an amazing haircut, you wanna feel good about yourself, elevate your expectations a little bit. Come on in and see AJ. AJ, before we, uh, before we exit, um, let them know. Uh, let them know what you guys offer. Um, give us some pricing on haircuts and sure. stuff like that. Um, so, <clears throat> the great thing about my barbershop is, you know, we have a very high reputation on haircutting here in Denver. Um, you know, you can ask anybody that that comes and gets haircuts here. You know, customer service is our always our key here to uh, to just being a successful barbershop. So, um, we offer offer incredible uh, pricing compared to a lot of barbershops around here that are. You know, in the $25, $35 range. Our men's haircuts start at $18. Uh, our senior special starts at $10 for all you retired guys that are 65 and older. We offer uh, military discounts. Uh, we offer student discounts, you know, so, you know, we want you to come and enjoy a good haircut and not have to break your wallet every time you get a haircut. So, you know, that's something that we, you know, we put a lot of pride into is our work and our community. So. You know, uh, we would love to have you guys. So anytime you're in the North Denver area, around 48th and Sheridan, make sure to stop in and, and get a hot towel shave or a nice haircut. Perfect, man. Perfect, perfect. And if people want to get a hold of you uh, via social media or direct or whatever that may be, um, how could how could they do that? How you could they reach out to me, you guys? Uh, on Instagram at uh, AJ the Barber One. 
or at AJ's All American Barbershop. You can also see our website, AJ's All American Barbershop.com. And we are also on Facebook. Just type in uh, on your Google search, uh, AJ's All American Barbershop. It'll pop right up. Sweet, man. Sweet, man. Awesome. I know, uh, I know I'm about to be looking fresh as soon as I get up out of this barber chair. So uh, uh, thanks for the time, man. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank thanks you for, guys. yeah, absolutely. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, we'll see you next time on another episode of Elevate Ave News. See you guys.